आप सुन रहे हैं समाचार एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया की साई न्यूज में ऑडियो बुलेटिन दिस इज द समाचार एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया नाउ लिसन टू द नेशनल ऑडियो बुलेटिन ऑफ मंडे 8th जनवरी 2024 इन द न्यूज सीरीज ऑफ साई न्यूज a day after three maldives ministers were suspended for their derogatory remarks against prime minister narendra modi over his lakshadweep tweet the tourism industry in the island nation took a hit with several indians claiming that they have cancelled their bookings despite the maldives government distancing itself from the remarks and taking action against the three deputy ministers mariam shina malsha and hasan zehan the backlash spilled into the second day on monday Celebrities, sports persons and politicians are now actively promoting scenic Indian destinations on various social media platforms encouraging Indian tourists to explore local beaches instead of opting for the Maldives. In a major embarrassment to the Bhajan Lal Sharma led government in Rajasthan, BJP Surender Pal Singh Titi, who was inducted as a minister on 30th December, lost the election to Sri Gandhanagar's Karanpur assembly seat to Congress Rupinder Singh Kunar by a margin of 11283 votes The election to the assembly seat was adjourned following the demise of Congress candidate Gurmeet Singh Kunar on 15th November TT was appointed a minister by Chief Minister Bhajan Lal Sharma despite objection by the opposition Congress which termed the move as a violation of the model code of conduct MCC imposed for the election The Supreme Court on Monday struck down the remission granted by the Gujarat government to 11 convicts who are out of jail in the Bilkis Bano case and also directed them to report to jail authorities within 2 weeks A bench of justices B V Nagratna and Ujjal Bhuyan said the Gujarat government had no jurisdiction to entertain the application for remission of the convicts in the Bilkis Bano case or to pass orders granting them remission as it was not the appropriate government to do so under the relevant provisions of the law. The bench said the appropriate government to decide on remission is a state within whose territorial limits the accused are sentenced and not where the crime is committed or the accused are imprisoned. The bench also held that the SC order of 13th May 2022 which directed the Gujarat government to decide the remission as per the 1992 policy was obtained by fraud and suppression of facts. Hence the order is nullity and all proceedings in pursuance of the said order stand vitiated under the law. This is the Samakar Agency of India. You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Monday 8th January 2024 in the new series of Sai News. As the consecration ceremony of the idol of Lord Ram in Ayodhya approaches, the internet is buzzing with captivating images of the temple adorned in preparation for the grand event. Scheduled for 22nd January 2024 at 12:20 p.m. The Pran Pratishtha or consecration ceremony of the Lord Ram idol is anticipated to host approximately 8000 invitees including 1500 to 1600 distinguished guests. Notable figures like Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and RSS Sir Sangalak Mohan Bhagwat are expected to address the inauguration function of the Ram Temple. Congress leader Jairam Ramesh has said the election commission's point blank refusal to engage with political parties on electronic voting machines EVM and voter verifiable paper audit trail VVPAT is a matter of grave concern for not just the India bloc but for all the parties Ramesh who is also the Congress MP in Rajya Sabha made the statement in response to the EC's letter to him on 5th January after he had sought an appointment with the poll panel for the leaders of the India to put forward their point of view on the VVPAT the EC had dismissed his concern over the VVPAT and reiterated its full faith in the use of the electronic voting machines in elections this is the samakar agency of india You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Monday 8th January 2024 in the new series of Sai News. Congress and Aam Aadmi Party on Monday discussed seat sharing for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. A meeting was convened by the Congress National Alliance Committee's convener Mukul Vasnik with the senior leaders of the Arvind Kejriwal party at his residence here in this regard. 
The maiden meeting between both the parties was held as part of the Grand Old Party series of meetings with the parties of the Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance, India, Block on Seat Sharing. The panel held deliberations with the Rashtriya Janata Dal, RJD, from Bihar on Sunday. Talking to reporters after the meeting, Vasnik, flanked by Delhi Congress President Avinder Singh Lovely and senior AAP leaders, including Atishi and Saurabh Bharadwaj, said, had a very good discussion with the AAP. We discussed various topics. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said government is aiming to take all its schemes to saturation through Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra. Interacting with beneficiaries of the Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra through video conferencing this afternoon, Mr. Modi said, the government itself is reaching out to the last person in the society and connecting him with its schemes. He said, in the last nine years, the lives of crores of people have become easier due to the public welfare schemes of the central government. The Prime Minister said, be it village or city, enthusiasm is being seen everywhere regarding Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra. He said, the biggest objective of Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra is that no one is left out of the benefits of any government scheme. Mr. Modi said, Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra completed 50 days of its journey just to 2-3 days ago and 11 crore people have joined this yatra. He said, Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra has become the journey of not only the government but also the country. Union Minister for Home and Cooperation Amit Shah has said that in the last nine years, around 26,000 crore rupees of the poor across the country have been saved because of the Jan Oshdi Kendras. He was addressing National PAC's mega conclave in New Delhi on Primary Agricultural Credit Society's PAC's as Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Oshdi Kendra. Mr. Shah said, Earlier, Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Oshdi Kendra were mostly situated in urban areas to benefit poor citizens. The Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi interacted with beneficiaries of the Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra today via video conferencing. Thousands of Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra beneficiaries from across the country along with union ministers, MPs, MLAs and local level representatives joined the event. Directorate General of Civil Aviation, DGCA, has made significant changes in the regulations pertaining to flight duty time limitations, FTTL, for flight crew, in line with the international best practices. These regulations have been instrumental in managing fatigue-related aviation safety risks for more than a decade now. The Ministry of Coal aims to produce 186.63 million ton, metric ton, coal exclusively from captive commercial coal mines during FY 2024-25. Production will be further stepped up to 225.69 million ton during FY 2025-26 and as per the present plans of the ministry, production target from such mines will be touching 383.56 million ton by FY 2029-30. Sri Satish Kumar has taken over the charge of member traction and rolling stock in railway board in the ministry of railways on 5th january 2024 he is from 1986 batch of lindian railway service of mechanical engineers shri kumar joined indian railways in march 1988 and has a rich experience of 34 years before joining as mtrs railway board he worked as general manager north central railway Rayagraj. Ms. Aruna Nair, Indian Railway Personnel Service, IRPS, Officer of 1987 Batch and Level 16 Empanelled IRMS Officer, has been appointed as Secretary, Railway Board and taken over charge on 6th January. You were listening to the new series of Sign News of the Samakar Agency of India in the National Audio Bulletin of Monday 8th January 2024. On Tuesday, 9th January 2024, we will once again appear with an audio bulletin. Also, do not forget to watch Limti K Lantern on burning topics in Sign News at 7 a.m. daily. If you like these audio bulletins, then you must like, share and subscribe to them. Now we take your permission. Jai Hind! Sai Features